why aren't we sleeping together anymore? And, you know, um, it's tough, but, you know. What's up, DC? Hey! the bougie parents yeah we're the can bougie see. can you tell we literally this is how we come outside to walk our dog you know <laughs> slight you know what i'm saying just slight slight it's been raining a lot which i honestly i don't know if you guys know this but i love the rain she loves the rain but i don't love that it's made it so cold in cali oh my god and why is it so cold why are you and pluto matching right now because he's my son he you guys literally look identical guys and easy gang don't doesn't look it like i birthed him they look like twins look nick <laughs> Pluto is so big. <laughs> hey, Nisi gang. So what's poppin'? How you guys doing? Look, if you guys are new to our channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn those post notifications on. Turn no. those post notifications on. And wait a minute. What? Actually, really do these things. I know we say yeah. it every single video. Intro, yeah. But I don't want it to get redundant to the point where you just... Wait a minute. Where'd you go? <laughs> I don't want you guys to just be so used to us saying yeah. it and be like, oh, I'm not going to do it. No, do it. Do it. Do it. Because we know a lot of you do not follow us or subscribe. But you watch every video. Every. It's confusing. First and foremost, I want to say Pluto is not usually with us, okay? And as a mother, he's usually with the babysitter, but he's with us today. <laughs> and he actually has a babysitter, y'all. Yeah, he's not no, I'm you. serious. He literally has a babysitter. Look at me. Look at my toes are out. Oh, Lord. Cold. Pick him up. Hurry up. Right. <laughs> this is the one slot. He's going down the slide one time because it's too one cold. One time only, Pluto. Okay, come on. Come, Pluto. Come, come on, Pluto. Come on. Come on. Come. 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 You got it. <laughs> God, I feel like a real parent. All right, if you know when you get your hair did in the rain, just don't mix. Especially those colored people. Oh God! Wait! Don't leave me, guys. They're leaving me, son. What are you watching? Ah! I can't take it, take it, babe. Don't ever kiss anyone else. Oh, babe. You can't watch the date with me and uh, Alexis, huh? No. Woo! Woo! Dang. Oh. You're, you're, you're good? Yes. All right, Nisi Gang, so we're back in the crib, okay? And if you know, or if you have my number, you know that I asked you guys to ask us some questions, okay? Because y'all said y'all wanted an updated Q&A. Mm -hmm. All right, they wanted an updated Q&A. Q&A. Cool. Y'all get the point, okay? But look, they wanted an updated Q&A, Natalie. So... so. Are we gonna give them one or one? Duh! That's what they're here for. That's what they're here for. And look, if you don't have my number, make sure you text me. My number is 213-212-6744, okay? Text me, let's chat, okay? Hey, Easy, let's chat. Ah! I'm gonna call my lawyer. I'm suing. <laughs> First question, Nana. First question, what is something that motivates you in each other? Like, Ooh. what is something that the other person does to keep you motivated? Something that Natalie does for me. What I do? Baby, you know, you already know. Natalie tries to keep me on track when it comes to eating. You know what I'm saying? And not even just eating healthy, but it's more so like she takes care of me when it comes to cooking. I don't listen 90% of the time, but it's a headache. It's, it, it is a headache, <laughs> but it does motivate me to be like, dang, like I got a woman that actually cares about me, my health. You know what I'm saying? And I just care because I want you to reach your goals, not like for any other yeah. reason. You know, like I want to make sure you're good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the thing that she does that motivates me, honestly, is she is such a hard worker. And she honestly, even when I don't want to go hard, she's always on 10. She's always trying to go, 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 work, work, work. Even when I'm tired and I would be trying to stay home and stuff and not, and she'll be like, nope, come on, you're coming. And then I'll be like, okay. But I would way rather have her be like that than us trying to be booed up and lay around all the seven. time because then we wouldn't be as productive. productive yeah yeah because we do have a business together guys like we literally are life partners and business partners it's honestly rare that we even get to just like lay around and chill like we did do that yesterday yes yeah. oh my god 
Baby, when's the last time we done that? That was the first time in a long, in like months and months and months. We watched like, we've been watching Netflix all day and all day. So and we were supposed to film. And we ordered pizza. Ooh. We haven't even eaten bad like that in a while too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess I'll say I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys feel that you've grown closer as best friends being in a relationship? We've been, we were best friends for three years. You know what I'm saying? Um, and even in the relationship, which is only not like what, like months old, it's like we, we're always gonna be best friends. You know what I'm saying? It's rare to have that, you know what I'm saying? Where you actually fall in love with your best friend, but I feel like I, I know you on a different level. It's a similar answer to what she just said, but I do feel like um, there are certain things that I didn't understand about her when we were just best friends. Like what, like um, what? Girl, just like, I would say like little things about her personality, about like certain things about like when she's sad, why she's sad, or when she kind of has an attitude, why she has an attitude, you know? And it so was is just, that best friendship or like relationship? Let me finish. Oh, so okay. basically. <laughs> now I know more things that were kind of a mystery to me yeah. as best friends. But to say that we actually are closer as best friends than we were, I wouldn't necessarily say that because I don't think you, there's really any getting closer. Man, we got close, close as best than friends. Being, then I fell yeah. in love. Yeah. You feel in love. Yeah. yeah. All right, we need to get a little bit spicy. Okay, so this next question, you know what I'm saying? It's a little bit more spicy. It's from Jasmine. And Jasmine says, who is the submissive and who is the dominant? On the count of three, we're going to say, okay, who's the dominant one? Three, two, one. Easy. Natalie. I am not the She's dominant. She's dominant. Okay, first and foremost, okay, there's different ways that somebody could be dominant and there's different ways somebody could be submissive. You feel me? But Natalie, in a lot of ways than not, Natalie's very dominant, okay? Neasy gang, dominant, okay? The way that she thinks I'm dominant is in personality. Yeah. And I think yeah. what they're asking is like relationship-wise. Who takes the more dominant or I guess Look at her arm. Look at how her arm is on me, Nisi Gang. Look at her. Stop. Dominant. I could be very dominant. Majority of the time I'm dominant in different ways. And majority of the time she's like dominant. Like she's for an example, like, like she's the protector usually. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna be a little crazy. <laughs> Natalie's dominant when it comes to be like, yo, babe, can you do this? If I say like, yo, babe, don't talk to me like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm dominant, you know what I'm saying? So if I tell her like that, it's not like me trying to come at her crazy. Sometimes she's coming at me crazy and I need to tell her like, yo, hold up, <laughs> slow your roll, baby, chill out. You know what I'm saying? And usually as a submissive woman, a woman would be like, okay, like, you know, she'll either look at that as a turn on, she'll look at that like, all right, maybe I was a little crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Natalie's not like that. Oh my baby. If I say, yo, don't talk to me like that, calm down. You know what I'm saying? How am I talking to you? <laughs> I'm not talking to you anyway. Well, you shouldn't have done blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yo, chill. No, you chill. You're talking to me crazy. How do you expect me to react? So, no, first in of some all, moments, to me, that Natalie can be being, feisty, I, I can be dominant. She's feisty, but she's also dominant, too. I can be feisty. I don't think that's dominance. I think we have two different, um, I guess, explanations or definitions of what dominant and submissive is. It just depends. Lifestyle wise, she's more dominant, I'm yeah. more submissive, but argument wise, I'm a strong individual. Black woman. Comment below, what is the definition of a dominant person in a relationship and a submissive person in a relationship Ooh, to you? To because you. that is such a, you know, hard question to answer. This next question is from Haley. What's up Haley? How you doing? From the scholarship. She was like, hey girl, easy. Okay. Would you ever get a tattoo for Natalie? I possibly would, possibly not, I don't know. Cause Natalie doesn't get tattoos. Wait, so I tried to get a tattoo of Natalie. I tried to get a tattoo with Natalie years ago in 2017. I don't remember what the year was, but y'all gonna fact remember. check you. Cause yeah, I, I said fact one check wrong you. year and they, they and by accident. You. And they were like, excuse me, <laughs> learn your own date. We tried to get tattoos together, and I wasn't gonna tell her what I was gonna get. We was just best friends, so 
If she would've got that tattoo, she could've had something already. You know what I'm So here's the thing, to me, you don't get something or do something for somebody to have them do it in return as well. Oh my So God. I could understand if like True. I was into tattoos. Right, right, right. Um, I could understand why it would be like, well, if I'm gonna get one, you should get one too. We should be yeah. matching. But the fact that I'm not really into tattoos and I'm a bare body, I don't have any tattoos. No. I And over here, she got an arm sleeve. She's working on her leg sleeve. I'm like, dang, you love tattoos, so, you know. And you also <laughs> love me, so what you trying to do? I mean, that's the future only knows. That's all I got. <laughs> Next. All right, so this is from Marshall. Says, Easy, when do you think you're gonna pop the question? Natalie is so ready, no matter what she says. Baby? Girl, get off of the ground. What? Get off the ground. What? Get off of the ground. What? See? Cause you're not even about to do that. How you know? Thankfully. How you know? Cause I don't want you taken away from the real moment. All right, you right, baby, you right. Come here. So look, Natalie. First of all, I feel like we just got into this, y'all. But being that we've been I best said, friends, I'm ready? are you ready? What? Are you? If I were to propose to you right now, right now, and it was real deal serious, would you be ready? And would you say? Well, I'm just. Would you be ready? That's a hard question. That's a tough question. That's a tough question. I feel like I love you enough to be ready. Mm -hmm. I do. You love me? I don't know if it would be the most responsible thing this early in right. to mm -hmm. be ready. But that's what I was saying. I was saying that we've been best friends for so long. Yeah, so it doesn't so, feel, and yeah. honestly guys, it doesn't feel like it's only been a few months. Like, yeah. I know her like the back of my hand, you know, like. <laughs> So it, it's tough because I really do feel like we know each other so well. Um, <laughs> Ew, stop. I think it would be too soon right now. Yeah, definitely too soon, but it does feel like a long time, but I just feel like because... It's like when you, it's like why we didn't live together. You know what I'm they saying? They want to know when you're going to pop the question. That okay. was what the question was. I don't know, y'all. When the time is right. Okay, so this question, you know, this question, it kind of like has been sucky. You feel me? Somebody's asked it. Uh, pretty much the question is, why aren't we sleeping together anymore? And, you know, um, it's tough, but, you know. Well, the question really wasn't, why aren't we sleeping together? But like, why am I not at Natalie's house as much anymore? You feel me? And why am I not sleeping here as much? So, I pretty much, it kind of sucks, but, you know, I have a dog. I have a new puppy. And, you know, Pluto, obviously you guys seen him. And, you know, with Natalie's aesthetics of her apartment and how she wants to live and stuff like that, like, he's just, he can't really be over here all the time. It has definitely created some limitations when it comes to how much time we spend together, you know what I'm saying? Which, you know, I know it does suck on Natalie's end because she doesn't have a dog and she misses me and she wants to, you know, hang out more. Well, I would say, yeah, it's been honestly tough. Like, it has been. And I love Pluto and stuff. But, yeah, it's, it's definitely been tough um, because we don't live together. And, like, you know, it's a lot of times I'll be like, oh, come over. I want to hang out and stuff. And she also, you know, we're always working, yeah. too. So that comes, um, that plays a huge part in how much time she gets to spend with Pluto as well. Mm -hmm. So whenever she's not working and she'll be like, well, I gotta spend some time with Pluto. And I'll yeah. be like, but I wanna spend some time, you know? So yeah. it's it's tough. Um, and then, you know, not to mention um, what we're gonna do in the future as far as living together, we have to figure that out too. And that is causing like a, you know, a little bit of distress as far as yeah. like figuring that out. But we'll talk about that another time. <laughs> Yeah. Well, my nat nat is a little sad right now. Um, we're gonna probably wrap this up because that was a touchy topic, you know, especially not really being able to spend a lot of time together as much as we were, but you know, we're still killing it. We're still spending a lot of time together and uh, I love you. <laughs> Talk to me again. Tell me what to do. Tell them what to do. Okay, Neezy gang, uh, we're gonna head out. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, like, I love you guys. Love and you guys. That's it. Make sure you guys are subscribed. And we'll see you in the next video. Make sure you
sure you guys follow us on TikTok. Guys, follow us on TikTok. Young Easy and Natalie O'Dell. We out. Gang, gang.